everybody, and welcome to Embellish. I'm Tracy O'Connor, here on eHow Home to show you guys cool designs, highlight fun trends, and introduce you to creative minds. Now, I might not be a designer, but I'm an enthusiast just like you. And like you, I'm often inspired to tap into my inner design guru and just kind of go for it. Last time on the show, I talked to interior designer Kashani Pereira, and I went to her boutique in Los Angeles and got an amazing tour. And while I was there, I saw this incredible, stylish piece that just caught my eye. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's kind of got this tie-dye, this horizontal kind of tie-dye Balinese effect. The price tag, unfortunately, was a little bit steep. So I decided to go for it and make my own version on my front lawn with absolutely no prior experience. Seriously, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. So you might want to stick around to watch this. It's a little embarrassing, but you might learn something. Okay guys, so let's get started. I uh, have never done this before, so I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> this is my assistant. I want you all to meet Pilar. Vamos. You're gonna help in this day. I'm gonna start first by folding the muslin. So what you should have is something kind of like this. Okay, and then you fold this way, just like you did the other side. Kind of like an accordion, like an accordion file. Now, once you have your fold, super easy, grab two rubber bands, and then you'll want to just take your rubber bands and put it like that, and then we're going to do the other rubber band. But what's cool about muslin is that it will absorb the material, the dye, really quickly. So once you've got your rubber bands in place, then you're just going to want to submerge your fabric in water. Now once you've wet your fabric, now it's time for the fun stuff, we get to color. These tubes are great because it's really easy to apply the color. And don't be precious about it. I mean, this is not, you do not have to be perfect. Okay, now once you have this, you're just gonna wanna let it sit for about 10 minutes. So once the dyes have had time to set, then just go ahead and take off the rubber bands. And then we're gonna go ahead and place the tie-dyed fabric into cold water. And see guys, this is when you really want gloves. I don't know what I was thinking. I told you I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Now, once you've wrung out all the water, then you can kind of shake it out and start to see the design. Now, the color is really saturated when the fabric's still wet, but I already like it. So I really like the way this turned out so far. Um, I know that once it dries, it's going to get a little softer, the color, and I like the muted hues, but if at home, if you want something that's more uh, bold or makes a bigger statement, then just saturate the fabric in the color for a little bit longer, and then you're going to get bolder hues and something that's more of a statement. So we're finished up here. Back to you in the studio, Tracy. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. So, what do you guys think? I actually think it turned out pretty great, thanks to my furry helper. I had so much fun that I actually made this version just for myself and I let Pilar keep the other one. What's cool about a project like this is it has so many uses. Okay, so you can obviously use it on a couch or a sofa or even the back of a chair and it'll add a lot of color to kind of a boring environment. But you could also make a scarf out of it, which is amazing. You just need to put it around your neck like this and you could sew it or tie it here. And when it's the summertime, then you can just take it off of your couch and wrap it around your body, wear it like a sarong around your swimsuit. Um, Oh, or you could hang it on the wall, so it could be kind of a cool wall hanging. If you have a white wall, or even you could hang it on bricks, that would be really, really cool, I would like that. Um, oh, and you know who else has some great tips for wall hangings? P. Allen Smith, so you should check out his videos. What you wanna do is you wanna take an ordinary bottle and just take some string. I'm gonna amplify the heat in the way of fingernail polish remover. Bring it back and put it on top. And what I'm gonna do is start a fire, and as soon as the fire goes out, I'll plunge it into the water. Ta-da! You can plate up your favorite food or you can plate up your favorite wall. If you look closely, you can see they have a beautiful glaze. They have a little foot on the back. So the zip tie uh, allowed me then to take it and hang it on one of these just picture hooks that I used here. I've shown you mine, now you show me yours. Send me a video response of any kind of tie-dyeing or other kind of creative scarf, throw, wall hanging, bikini cover-up project that you guys have done at home. And then also leave me a comment to let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover maybe in a future episode. Now that's all the time we have for today. I'll see you next time. Yeah.